using proper leverage and technique. They say a smaller, weaker person can defend themselves against a stronger assailant. And they are the masters of Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and locally it's becoming a very popular way to learn self-defense. Our Sabrina Hall has been at Paragon Academy all morning long, and you're in the cage, Sabrina? I am in the cage, and it's hot in here, and I'm with some pretty tough guys. I'm hanging out with you know, experts in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. We're talking here to Derek, who's one of the instructors, and Gabe, good morning. Good morning. All doing? right, you guys are pretty tough guys. I've been seeing you fight. What is all this about? What is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is kind of, uh, it's grappling. Uh, what we do is a little bit different. It's mixed martial arts. It's taking Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, boxing, wrestling, uh, Muay Thai kickboxing, putting them all together and giving you guys the tools to win fights. All right, and we want people to know about this because people can come here and take classes, definitely, right? Definitely, definitely. We offer two classes a week, uh, and basically we offer these classes to teach all this, plus it ups your cardio, gets you in shape, uh, gives you the tools to win. All right, when I watch you guys fight, I think, don't people get hurt doing this? Yeah, a lot of people do, but we do have a lot less deaths in boxing and things like that because there's different ways to finish the fight. I'm not getting hit in the face for 13 rounds, 12 rounds. All right. All right, you guys, I want you to check out these guys' ears. What, what are these ears called? Cauliflower ears. And what is that from? Basically just broken cartilage, uh, doing a lot of wrestling. You can get it with boxing. Uh, it's just breaking the cartilage, getting fluid, and letting it harden. But people who come to classes, that's not going to happen to them, right? No, this is usually people that are in the sport for a very long time uh, and kind of take a lot of, you know, wrestling abuse. Or, uh, it's it's common injury, but it's not life-threatening or anything like that. All right, you're sweating. I'm sweating. I'm going to get out of the cage, and you're going to show me what you do, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And I'm going to get a play-by-play -play over here from Oriole. Or, yes, come on over here. <laughs> All right, tell us what we've got to see right now. Uh, see them go at it. My name is Aurelio. All right, there. there Aurelio you is my name. <laughs> These guys just square off, striking each other, moving around, getting the octagon to the defense, escape shooting in. Derek's on top, trying to drive his hip heavy, kind of working his head. Gabe's giving up his back, so Derek takes his hooks, starts singing in the choke, start popping his face a little bit, open him up. Okay, see, that looks like it hurts right there. Uh, not really. That's why he tapped out. They get back up. He looks normal again. Shoots in for the double. Gabe comes up on top, puts the hip heavy, starts looking for the pressure. Derek gets up his back, takes, takes the arm, takes off the submission for an armbar. Right. That's how simple and quick that you can use. Uh, mixed martial arts in your self-defense or use it as a sport in general. All right, and if anybody out there is interested in taking up Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you can come on to Paragon at Wold Woldridge Avenue, and you can also visit them online at www.ccparagonbjj.com. Whew, it's hot in here. Back to you, Regina. All right, thanks a lot, Sabrina. And the next half hour, we're going to meet someone who's actually made this an attempt to lose some weight, right? That's right. Exactly. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks a lot.